overcast, rainy town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada. And uh, we are headed over to the Home Depot because we are gonna pick up our window coverings. I've already got some things. Luckily, uh, Carol had some spray adhesive and then I got some lawn fabric from my mom or whatever you call it, I'm not sure, garden fabric. We're gonna pick up our supplies first. I just wanna make sure I'm in the right spot. We are stopped here. I gotta get out my email. So there's a big button on here called, I'm here. So you click it, you have a phone number, I have to put the parking spot, which is number four, make of car, Chrysler, confirm. All right, confirmed. Uh, we will be with you shortly. I did look up on the internet for um, people that are companies that actually make the window coverings for this vehicle, but because we already had the spray adhesive, my mom gave me some lawn, lawn fabric, uh, and each one of these rolls uh, was only like, I don't know, $20, $30. It was just better to go this way. It'd be kind of fun to make them ourselves. That way when there's a problem, we can fix them easier. Hey, How are you? Hey, going? Do I need to uh, be there? That's throwing the, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Do I need to show you my email or? Uh, you or the email, either one's dead. Uh, right there, thank you. Alright, thank you. What we're gonna do before we do all that work is I am hungry. It is 10 after 3, and I haven't eaten anything since yesterday at 7. So I've been fasting this whole time, and uh, I am very hungry. So we are gonna zip over to KFC because they have this new bacon chicken sandwich so i think it's their famous chicken sandwich and they've slathered it with bacon we got to go check that out feast and then we'll put all the stuff together i hope you stick around to see if i uh completely screw this up like uh, i've never done anything like this before so it should be fun let's get some food at kfc Bacon Lovers Sandwich, limited time only. Let's do it. Here we come. I'm excited. I think I got pizza day. Hi, I would love to try that uh, Bacon Lovers Ultimate. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do the sandwich, the Bacon sandwich. Lovers Sandwich. Okay. That's perfect. All right, into the window, please. Thank you. I came this close to getting the whole box set. It looks amazing. But this one has cheese on it, and I did so see something there with the cheese. Now I'm confused. Does it not come with cheese? I guess we'll find out. It looks like, looks like bun, a lot of sauce or cheese, but it looks different than the cheese. So it looks like sauce, lots of bacon, sauce, cheese, chicken, bacon, sauce, bun. Holy cow. What's going on, KFC? Hello. All right, how you doing? Hat coming off, people. It's getting hot out there. Oh, thank you very much. Have a great day. All right, people, let's park it. All right, people, we are parked. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's not gonna work. Gotta fix that. Steering wheel, if it's in the wrong position. There we go much better all right so just the sandwich here in canada the bacon lover sandwich is eleven dollars and six cents just the sandwich that's expensive it's not as big as i'm thinking it should be Ooh la la i don't know kfc what's going on oh boy it got brutalized inside this bag we got to do a close-up in the bag because it's been destroyed <laughs> check this out ladies and gentlemen are you ready oh my gosh it got run over by a train let's just try to flip this over now we'll, this is the top lid the bacon oh man we're gonna have to do some surgery to put this poor guy back together because that's um, not looking good at the moment okay let's see if we can get this out of the bag 
without losing anything. Okay, everything came out in one piece. That was a good thing. But look at this, man. Oh, I have to repair before I eat. That is a very, very small piece of chicken. I thought for sure it was going to be their big piece of chicken that they do for their regular famous chicken sandwich. And then they're going to put bacon and cheese on there. But it looks like it's a, like a half of that piece of chicken. If you've seen my videos in the past of this sandwich, of their famous chicken sandwich, there is it's definitely bigger chicken than that. Okay, so I'm trying really hard to rebuild it. That sauce smells amazing. See those spices on there? Okay, so we got bacon, sauce, chicken. Pull this top off. Again, it's like just a bit bigger than a large chicken wing. That's what it looks like. Okay pull this off so it looks like they do have so this is cheese and then it looks like they have a mayo plus their maybe spicy sauce and then two more pieces of bacon I, I heard some complaints on the inter internet that it was too much bacon I, I, you can have too much bacon on a poutine that's pretty much it I think because this gets too salty I'm going to try to put this lid back on there, that's the way it should have been delivered to me. Maybe like, maybe like that. Let's compare this one to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Is it close? Probably not. It smells great. I'm not sure what this sauce is, but it does smell very good. I'm just a little disappointed in the size of that chicken. Oh well, here we go. I bet it's gonna taste good though. Definitely got that sauce first, then the bacon, then the mayo, and that juicy chicken breast. I would love to try one of these with dark meat. Do a dark meat chicken sandwich with bacon, and that would sell really well too. Like two chicken thighs. Mmm. Yummy. So far, it tastes great. It's like they used a brioche bun, a brioche, however you want to say it. I, I'm loving every single thing about this sandwich uh, except the size of the chicken and the price. <laughs> the price is pretty high. Let us all know if you think the price is high, just right, or too low. I think I know what you guys are going to say. Other than that, it's a fantastic sandwich. So far, it's a two napkin meal. This is tasting so good. I'm going to have to give you guys a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to every single one of you lovely men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This next bite is just for you. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Two more bites to go for sure. I love the sauce, along with the mayo and the bacon flavors. Oh, last bite. I guess it's time now to rate the sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna give it a go out and get it now. It was fantastic, I loved it. Uh, I just wish that chicken breast was a bit bigger. I'm not sure if I just got one of the small pieces in their batch and I was the unlucky one of the bunch of people that ordered the chicken sandwich. But I'm pretty sure the other chicken sandwich that I had in the past was a good one. This is obviously a completely different item with a smaller breast of chicken plus four strips of bacon. But other than that, other than the price and the size of the chicken, it was a fantastic sandwich. Thanks very much, KFC. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and let's get to work. We're just gonna find like a nice little remote spot to work and uh, we'll put these window coverings together. I'm hoping they turn out as good as I'm thinking they should be. But uh, I think I have enough material to make one big mistake. <laughs> and then we have no more material. I was gonna say it looked like another stealth camper, but it's not. Delivery truck. Well, it looks like a stealth camper. Got the windows. 
I was thinking for a treat afterwards, we can drop by McDonald's, grab ourselves a flurry or a ice cream sundae or something. Sound good? It's always good to reward yourself. All right, found a good spot. Somewhat near the entrance, but there's no cars really around this area. There's another guy working on his car. It's time to go in the back and work on those window coverings. Let's go. Okay, so I did take a couple things out. I took out the uh, the cooler. I'm probably gonna have to use the other camera when I'm outside this vehicle because it's windy. So these are the things I did. Uh, reflex it. And uh, people see they use them for their window coverings on the inside. Um, people use them to wrap for costumes. <laughs> and we got two of them. And I think these are the what size did I get? I'm pretty sure it's two feet high by 10 feet long. And uh, I measured the window, make sure there was two feet or, or less. And they are, I think they're 18 inches tall. Got to do some uh, unraveling of this. I got my knife, I got a Sharpie. This is the spray adhesive that I'll have to do. It's going to be really difficult to do. And this wind. And then I've got, this is the garden fabric that I was talking to you guys about. I don't want the silver to be facing out. I don't mind it facing in. And then of course I'm gonna have an issue with uh, my suction cup thing there. Um, if I put a window covering in there, it's not gonna be, I won't be able to use the suction cup thing. Oh well. Just finished doing my weekly Wednesday members only live stream. So thanks to every one of you guys for coming along. Uh, we're up to like 159 members. So thank you very much every one of you for your uh, love and support on that uh, being a member of this channel. So I think we should do the back window first. It looks like it might be the easiest one to do. These look like they're gonna be easy windows to do as well. This is gonna be a much harder window because of that stuff at the very back there. Um, smaller window to deal with, but uh, it's got some issues. First thing first, let's take out some of this stuff out of the van. So, first things first, we'll open up one of these. I'll try and use one of the straight edges along here. That's pretty much where I want it to cut. The part that I'm, I'm hoping works really well is I'm going to stick it there and up there and then try to figure out, oh, it can go behind too. There's a slot back here. So maybe I should start back here. Ooh, I'm glad I figured that out. I'm going to have to take a little snip off that and that will go in there. And that will go up to there. I want it to be super snug too, right? And I don't want any gaps. I'm debating on whether or not to use the Sharpie. Now for the big test. Let's see if it works. 
So the Sharpie marker is showing itself. Let's see if it worked. I think on the next one I'll cut it a little bit bigger than what I had here because the, the pen idea didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. But it's very, very close. I can move it over and kind of make it work. The top has a little bit of a gap here, a little bit of gap here, a little bit of gap there. First time doing it, I think I did all right. Let's check it out from the outside. Yeah, you don't want to, you just don't want to see the silver. That to me makes it look like somebody's in there maybe, they're hiding something. And that's my tinted windows. So my next idea is going to be take this down Remember which side's which. Got the fabric down and it it fits, but I want to have maybe a little bit overlap. Let's just go for it. It'd be nice if I was doing this on a less windier day. I'm gonna put that down. Had to go running across the whole parking lot to get it, and of course it went into a puddle. Now I gotta dry it off. Because it's so windy, I was gonna do like a piece at a time. So this is the bottom right. Well, this is the wrong stuff. I thought this was the right stuff. Uh, this is workable fixative, so basically after you do like a chalk drawing, you spray this on it and it protects it from getting uh, it falling all apart. So it's not an adhesive, because I put it on and it doesn't stick. And so I reread this, I'm like, ah. So we're gonna have to find somewhere that sells a spray adhesive. That means I gotta pack up the van and we gotta go find somewhere. Not part of my plans. Well, because I don't wanna waste too much time uh, looking around for adhesive, uh, I'm just going to do all my window coverings and then I'll find uh, adhesive and then I'll put them onto the black part and we'll stick them on. But uh, I just don't wanna waste too much time. Put everything back in the van, go try to find adhesive, which I might not be able to find. Stores are closed, you can't walk into them. So uh, I'm gonna do all the window coverings, at least cut them out and then uh, we'll do the adhesive part later. Well, like I said, I'm not gonna be a pro at it, but uh, I think it's gonna work great. Uh, once I put the black on it uh, for the outside, people will not be able to see in, unless I had a spotlight pointing out. But again, there are a few kind of little slivers that I screwed up. This is the first one I did. But this was, so once I did that one, I just used that as a template and made that one a bit bigger than that one and it fit really well and this one was very complicated to put together but once I figured that out I just literally put that down on the ground made a template out of it and put that one up so we've got four windows done this window it's arced it's a little bit more complicated I'm thinking possibly going so windy oh my gosh can't believe how windy it is but I think I'm going to uh, go home. If we put a newspaper up and cut it out perfectly, make a template, put that onto our bubble wrap, and uh, then we'll do 
See if I have adhesive at home. I'm pretty sure I do, but we'll figure it out. Okay, let's get packing up everything. We've done most of the work. So I'm gonna treat ourselves. You know what's funny is I just realized how much I, I used my rear view, uh, my backup camera, my mirrors, but uh, you rely on all your windows being functional and then all of a sudden there's no windows. Uh, most of the time when I'm driving, most of these will be down. Uh, I won't have them up. They'll only go up when I go to bed. That's the stealth part of that. Um, but let's head over to McDonald's get ourselves a treat and then we'll head home and uh, so it's a mid treat it's not the it's not the full you completed a good job treat it's you didn't lose your cool and it's time for a treat <laughs> even though you brought the wrong can of spray let's do a Smarties McFlurry I think I think that's what we're gonna do uh oh uh oh my window went down. Hmm. I left the drive through because my nothing, none of my windows work. And I'm not sure if it's because I've stuck something in the window itself. These are supposed to be those. There's a lock. Well, that's interesting. You put up a few window coverings and now your windows won't open. It's like the, the van got mad at you. So let's go in there and grab our Smarty McFlurry. We'll come back here and eat it with you guys. Problem after problem, eh? What's up? Hello. Hi, how are you? Alright, how are you doing? Could I get a, a medium Smarty McFlurry, please? Um, we only have snack size and regular, so would a regular be okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. All right, so um, a regular McFlurry is three ninety-eight, and uh, I, I don't know what I asked for. I thought I asked for a medium. I guess there's a regular medium. You think regular would be medium and large and small? And she said there was only tiny and regular. And I'm like, well, okay, I guess that's the regular size. So Smarties in Canada are kind of like M&Ms, chocolate M&Ms in the United States and everywhere else. But uh, Smarties is a Canadian thing. I think you guys call, the Americans call Smarties, uh, are, which I think are our rockets. It's like little candies that when you when you chew on them, they just kind of turn to powder. That's kind of what our Smarties, our, our rockets are like your Smarties. Blended ice cream with chunks of chocolate Smarties in there. Of course, we don't call them chocolate Smarties up here. We just call them Smarties. Mm. I shouldn't have touched my teeth right away. Oh, God, it's cold, man. Ooh. Chocolate inside of Flurry or a Dairy Queen Blizzard is phenomenal. I guess one of my favorite things especially Dairy Queen, is the um, chocolate chip cookie dough uh, blizzard. And I think out of all the flurries, McFlurries that have at McDonald's, I think Smarties is my favorite. If you're not from Canada and you're visiting, head over to McDonald's and grab yourself a McFlurry because it is an awesome treat when you're trying to put in window coverings and then somehow sever the connection to your automatic door or sorry, your window openers. Go figure. This will help. Mm. I'm gonna finish off this awesome dessert and then we'll head home and finish up our window coverings. Made it back home, went through one of my old uh, art supply things and this is what I wanted. This one actually says spray adhesive on it. I got out a table to work on and uh, then we'll do this one up here. Took the top off, no spray nozzle. I went and found another spray nozzle, but it doesn't fit, so it's a specific type one. So unfortunately, this is probably about half full too. This would have done us. Everything's blowing away because it's so windy. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so what we're gonna do is at least do this back window and get the, um, the insulation um, block out part done.
all done with my mask. Looks good. I'm just gonna transfer that to the bubble wrap and uh, we're good to go. There's my template. It's getting windy, it keeps blowing it away. So hopefully I can get this done real quick. Moment of truth. So we're all done the cutouts of the window coverings. I just had to get spray adhesive to spray the black backing on it. And again, I'm gonna fold it around. So it'll be black on the other side and it'll fold around and be stuck onto this side I'll put I'll try to make it as nice as possible as you can see my van is a disaster right now but uh, I think we should clean it up on a time lapse what do you think let's go there you go all nice and clean let's go see how much darker it is in here all right Let's press that button. Uh. Wow. Unbelievable. How much darker that is. Wait till I put the black outline on it. That's just falling down, but once that black's on there and it's pushed back into it, that'll work great. One of the things you can do to prevent them from falling off uh, if they start to wear and tear over time is to put Velcro on the window. You can put little discs, like maybe four or five or six of them, and then you put the other side of the Velcro on your window in, uh, inserts, and then that will definitely stick to there. And, uh, and so uh, this one, this one, and this window would work great. But these windows can go up and down, so I wouldn't put Velcro on those. I'd have to find another way. Some people use magnets uh, when they have panel van type um, van life and stuff. But uh, what do you guys think? Cool, stealthy, and then all we need next is a curtain. But I want to make sure there's not a whole lot of places to put the curtain. Um, but you want to sometimes put a curtain rod up, but there's this things in the way. So it'd have to be maybe just in front of that, maybe to see, and then it's, then you've got all these curves and stuff. There's no real place to stick it. Maybe between this door and that door, uh, but obviously if you open the door, they'll fall down, but it would be temporary. You just put it up at nighttime, and then I'd have the, I want to put the black sheet on this side or curtain, and then maybe we'll have a divider so we can open up and look out if we need to. Um, but that's that, people. I hope you enjoyed this uh, installment. Oh, look at that, bang in the head again. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this installment of my van life, stealth camping, and getting it all ready, prepped for the next adventure. Uh, thank you very much to every single one of my patrons out there who support me on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And of course, all my channel members on KBD Productions TV and my vlog channel. You guys are all fantastic as well. And of course, everybody who has subscribed who watches my videos, who thumbs up my videos, who leaves comments, every single one of you guys are just as important. So thank you one and thank you all. Uh, if you love this video, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. And if you're hungry for more, check out the playlist I put over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.